Hey everybody, this is Brother Paxton. I'm coming to you uh, today from Marilla Township over by Copemish, Michigan. And I grew up in these parts and I've had a good day just running around at different spots. Uh, I want to share with you a brief devotion uh, that ties right in with a recent telecast that I preached uh, for Up North TV. Uh, here is Psalm 139. And I want to read two verses, verse 23 and 24. Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24. That, Lord, make this my prayer. That's what my heart is crying out right now. Listen to this. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Now that's, I want to warn you, when you start praying that, God's going to show you some things in your heart that you don't even know are there. But when he does that, he does that in order to, mo to um, remake your heart more into the image of Christ. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. <laughs> We've become accustomed as human beings. I mean, a guy can say anything, but what's really in his thoughts only God can know that. And sometimes it takes God's Holy Spirit to reveal to me what my thoughts really are. Uh, I can say anything. And we're really good at rationalization. We're pretty good at uh, you know deceiving others by the words that we speak. But what's in my heart, Lord, and what are my thoughts today? So search me, O God, know my heart, try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting i love that man you know that god has had a people on the earth since the beginning of time god has had a church since the early church and every one of those he has led in the way if you will allow him to do so so i mean it's not one way for the ancients way back there and another way for us today there's one way that leads to life everlasting it's god's way it's found in the pages of holy scripture and it's found in the the new birth as god takes a hold of the reins of our heart if you will and he makes us more and more into the image of christ what an encouraging thing it's an encouraging thing ladies and gentlemen for me to just say, God, show me what's going on in me. Change me to make me more like you. Don't be afraid of your shortcomings. Let God reveal them to you and let God change you to better glorify him in the time that we're living in. Amen. Praise God. I believe that God has a great harvest in store just down the road right here in America once again and around the world because Jesus is soon to come back. And we want to be able soldiers in the army of the Lord. Glory to God. This is Brother Paxton from Marilla, Michigan today saying go with God. He will go with you. Bless you.